If you're looking for a software to help you organize your thoughts or just start writing and actually getting your words on paper, then you've probably looked into Scrivener and Plotter. And the question is, what is the difference between the two of these? So let's dive into the differences and which one you may prefer, which one may help you more with your writing. Now the first one here is Scrivener and let me just point out real quick, the main difference between Scrivener and Plotter is that Scrivener is a lot more geared towards writing your book and Plotter is a lot more geared towards planning your book. So let's just take a look at Scrivener first and when I create a new project, it gives me this screen here and I'm going to say that I'm writing a fiction novel and just plain novel here and then I'm going to click create. It's going to ask me to save it, so I'm going to save it as new novel. Obviously, you do want to give your novel a title because it's going to be a lot less confusing, okay? And it's got this nifty little binding on the side that gives you, uh, it's, it's like a little outline that's got different ideas and it, it's pretty self-explanatory on how to use this because you've got this nice little guide on the left-hand side here. This is where you're gonna actually write your book. And this is a huge difference. That Scrivener, you actually write your book inside of this software. With Plotter, you're not writing your book inside of it, you're just planning it out, you're just mapping it out. This is kind of like a replacement to Microsoft Word. And you wouldn't necessarily wanna format your book in Plotter or in Scrivener, because it's not really designed for that, but writing it within Scrivener is a, an easy and simplified way of organizing your thoughts. One of the big pulls of Scrivener versus using Microsoft Word is that with Word, it's very linear, right? Everything is in one document and you just write everything on that one document and then if you need to rearrange chapters at the end, it's a little bit difficult to do so. With Scrivener, you have scene cards essentially that you're writing. And so if I click on a scene here, I can you know, type a scene, la 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 la, this is a great scene and then create another scene within that chapter, create another scene just by clicking this little plus icon here. Um, I can title my scenes, right? So say, happy scene. And then write stuff in this scene here. You know, this is what happened in this scene. And then I can rearrange the scenes. And it may be that I create another chapter. Oops. Sorry, I just created another scene. So I can create another chapter and make this chapter two. And then I can say, oh, I don't, I don't really want this scene to be in this chapter. Okay, so I'm actually gonna move it down to chapter two here. And then I can rearrange my scenes really easily. And as you can see, when I click on this, it's really easy for me to see the scenes that I've put together under this chapter and rearrange them here as well. So it's really easy if you just have a random thought one day and you have this, this bout of inspiration, but you're not really sure where to put it in your book. So you can just create a scene, doesn't really matter where you put it, but create a scene and then click on your scene and then just write it out, just write out your inspiration. And then you can find out where you wanna put it later because it really doesn't matter where it is right now. So it's just really easy to organize your different scenes in your chapters, okay? And actually write out your book within Scrivener. And then you can also keep track of the research that you're doing. It gives you some manuscript samples here. So see this is something that you'd be giving to your agent to pass on to publishers that you might be trying to get your book published with for traditional publishing. It shows you what a paperback novel would look like. It shows you what's uh, it shows you what an ebook would look like here. So you've got your cover, your dedication page with paperback. You've got your title page, copyright, dedication, blank page. And so it's, it's got just a lot of stuff that's already set up for you. That's going to help you know how to set up your book. You also have a spot for characters. And then when you come down here to template sheets, it has the character sketch and the setting sketch. and you know, say I want to add the favorite color under character sketch. Oops, I did under setting. <laughs> I did under setting. 
Alright, character. Favorite color. Okay. And then if I come up here to characters and I want to add a character, then see, look, it saved my template down here. These are the templates, right? So now anytime that I create a new character by just clicking the plus button underneath characters, it pulls up my template and I can create a character. So I can, you know, say Jimmy is my new character, Jimmy, and then fill out all of this. And if I decide that there's something else I want to know about all my characters, I just come down here to my template and type that in and then it's going to come up and it's going to show up in all my character sketches here. So that's really useful for keeping track of information about your characters. Same thing goes with places. You've got your settings template here and you can change it and then add settings to places. So that's just a really brief overview of Scrivener, but like I said, this is m very much designed for actually writing your book. And they also have tutorials, and I'll, I'll drop a link down in the description below that takes you to their, their website where you can look up some of their tutorials as well, and you can also do a free trial of Scrivener. Now Plotter, right here, is, is, is really cool. I actually prefer plotter just because this is the way that I like that I think this is kind of the way that my brain works and this is very visual for me because when you use plotter it gives you these different templates that you can use or you can just start from scratch I like the templates because this makes it very easy for me to make sure I'm hitting certain plot points and that the story is moving along according to reader expectations so if I'm creating a um, cozy mystery right then I just say create new project and then it automatically sets up some really important scenes and story beats for me which is really cool if you're starting from scratch this would be all empty and then you create the stuff on the side here it could be characters that you're following their storylines it could be like a main plot line here and then some backup plots or some side plots you can do this really however you want to but this, this like as you can see, it's very, very visual, and it's a little bit newer. It's a, it's a lot newer than Scrivener, and it's so it looks very, very clean and tidy, and it's really easy to see. It's really easy to use. These here, you can move them around wherever you want to. You can actually stack these scene cards on top of each other. So if you know this is chapter one, maybe this is chapter two. I can rename these if I want to, and I want a couple different scenes that I want to keep track of in this main storyline under chapter two, then I can do that. But again, it's really, really easy to move stuff around. When you click on this, you get to add all your details of it. I guess if you wanted to, you could write your story here. I mean, you've got the space, you know, you can write as much as you want to. But mostly you're just taking notes about each part of your story and just organizing the plot lines and making sure you're hitting certain story beats and you can also keep track of notes that you have so anytime you just have a random idea that you want to include you come to the notes section and then there's an outline section it's automatically created based on your timeline then your characters this is also really cool it's just a really really easy way to keep track of the different attributes that your characters have and you can even upload a character thumbnail so you can create and put an image of your character here so you have an idea of what they look like in your head. And then same thing with places, just like Scrivener, you know, you're talking, you have a place to keep track of setting and characters and take notes on those different items. And again, they have, Plotter has some really, really clean and detailed uh, tutorials that they've created already and I'll go ahead and put a link in the description for their trainings as well. They're very, very easy to follow and it's totally up to you which one of these softwares you want to use. In fact, you could use both. You know, you could plan out your story here in Plotter because it's very, very visual and it's really easy to organize your story. And then you could come over here to Scrivener and you could actually write your story, you know, and create your scenes and write them out and then you can reorganize them as needed. That might be a bit much for me. I think that'd be a bit much. I'd probably just use Plotter and then write my document in a Word document. But you can do something very similar with Scrivener and just have it all written here, you know, where you're creating 
these different story beats, but you're doing it here. And then you're actually writing those different scenes, writing your scene cards, filling out your scene cards in the software itself. So totally up to you, but those are some of the differences between Scrivener and Plotter. There's a few other softwares out there, but these are just the main two that I've heard of.